Hi guys, welcome to Behind the Bar here at Bomba. Um, I have my wonderful other half here who is going to talk us through uh, punch. Does this punch have a name or is it a bit more in the kind of throw it together? Uh, well, this is like a colonial era sort of tea based punch, but we're going to sort of wing it a little bit and that's part of the fun. Let's get into it. All right, so for punches like this, uh, they do require a little bit of prep ahead of time. Yeah. So what we're going to start with is um, what's known as an oleosaccharum, which is basically a citrus peel infused sugar. Yeah. So I'm going to um, get my bowl here and what I'm going to do is just add in the peel of, for this one, I'm going to do um, two grapefruits and five lemons. Once you've got some peels in your bowl there, for this one, we're gonna do about a cup of sugar. So by the magic of television. There you go, and you can see that the sugar is just completely melted into all of those peels, and now we've got this, this beautiful um, syrup in there. So that is gonna go into our big, beautiful punch bowl here. Do you keep in the peels and everything? Um, for this part, I do, basically because it's way easier to fish them out once the sugar has all been melted. Yeah. So for this one, I'm gonna throw in some really lovely cinnamon sticks and also some star anise pods. And those are just gonna end up floating around in the punch and looking really pretty. And you wanna put them in at this point so that they can steep because the next part is gonna be our tea. So what we've done here is again, for a bit of a Southeast Asian twist, we're gonna do this lemongrass and ginger tea which Kara has kindly made for me just a minute ago. And that hot liquid is going to help melt the rest of the sugar that's left over in that oleo and also start to infuse those spices into our punch. So one thing to bear in mind is obviously you can use like a black tea definitely, but it, that can get quite bitter quite quickly. So you just want to pay attention to how long you steep that for. And also it's not always the nicest color to be perfectly honest. Like you kind of obviously want this to be bright and pretty. So purple teas can definitely be a fun way of going about it as well. And now that that's all melted, I can basically add some more cold ingredients because we are going to serve this cold. So now what I've done is um, after I peeled those lemons and grapefruits, or after you peeled I them know, last like, night, I should peeled. say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, then we juice them, right? Yeah. You want to use the insides as well, and that's obviously going to provide our sort of sour balancing element. Yep. So we ended up with about a cup of sugar, and from those amount of lemon and grapefruits, mm -hmm. we ended up with about a cup each of freshly squeezed lemon juice and about the same of grapefruit juice. So rums were very popular for these kind of punches, especially yeah. in colonial America. So we're going to start out with a good sort of big, bold Jamaican style Caribbean rum that's yeah. got a bit of age on it as well. And I'm going to sort of measure this the way that they would have done in the yeah. colonial era as well. By basically, we're just doing full cups of everything. Then we're going to do some brandy. And that's one of the ones that's been on my back bar for a while. So I'm, you know, happy to just let it, let her die. I mean, punch is good for that, right? Yeah. Like you've got some stuff <laughs> lying around that you want to get rid of. Yeah. yeah. You can just sort of throw it all in there. It's going to end up being balanced one way or another. Then I've got um, this one, which has been sitting on our cool. shelf at home for a while, which is cool. It's basically a recreation of something called a Batavia Arak. So it's a, it's a cane based spirit from what we now know as Indonesia. Yeah. It almost has that kind of like agricole yeah, for sure. Like quite a kind of green grassy That's element it. to it as well. And then we're going to do some Madeira wine. It's kind of sweet fortified wines were super popular yeah. during that era. Um, and then finally, peach liqueur. Yeah. So this I'm going to use a local apricot brandy just to give us a bit of nice kind of extra fruitiness. Yeah. And we're going to do maybe a little bit less of this because we're already probably sweet enough. So I'll do about half a cup of that. You're always sweet enough. No, you stop it. <laughs> and then there we go. So that's kind of all the all the sort of primary ingredients that we need for our punch there. Now what we're gonna do is kind of get it ready to serve, I suppose. So for that, what we've done is overnight we've frozen a big block of ice so that that can just sit in the punch bowl 
out at room temperature and it'll take a really long time to melt. And again, what you'd usually do is chill the punch down in the fridge first before you actually put it out to serve. Um, and then when you put it out, you can throw this ice block in there and that'll take a really long time to melt. So the punch will stay kind of nice and cold as we're going. So I was thinking maybe um, maybe some of the, the cappy grapefruit soda. What do you reckon? Sure. Ta-da. Beautiful. And this will make sure that our punch isn't quite so nuclear. Yep. So now we've got our, our big bowl of punch that's kind of ready to go. Um, the last thing, of course, that we need to do is garnish it and make it look pretty. So I've just sliced up some fruit. So we're gonna do some little bits of pink grapefruit around there and some lime wheels couple of bits of mint. So pretty. And again, obviously you can do this with, with anything that you've got <laughs> floating around. <laughs> I'm really excited to, to try this. All right, Ms. Divine. Make sure you get a nice little lime slice in there as well. One for me. Cheers. Cheers. Yum. <laughs> yep. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, it did. It was really good. It's really bright and fresh and boozy, but you know, not too intense. You could definitely have a couple of bowls of it. The sweetness is pretty, uh, it's not a couple of bowls, <laughs> a couple of cups of it. <laughs> yeah, um, Yeah, I think a very good job all around. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. So there's your punch ready to go for your party and, and really you can put whatever you like in there as long as you've got that fresh citrus, sugar um, and booze in, in pretty good balance then anything else you put in there you really can't go wrong. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. So now you know. <laughs>